scripture. Here we go. Paul and Timothy, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons. And uh, yes, they did have bishops and deacons. Now, we're Baptists, so we don't really use the term bishop. They did back then. Uh, to me, it may, you know, somebody wants to be call himself a bishop, amen, that's for praise the Lord, amen. It's a biblical word. It is a Bible word. So, you know, those that don't like the word bishop, too bad. You know, I mean, you got to look at your Bible. You know, this Bible goes against all religions, including Baptists. And don't use the word bishop, all right? So, too bad, all right? It's in the book. Grace be unto you and peace from our God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in prayer of mine, for you and all making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Paul tells uh, the folks there, he says, number one, we're servants. We've been serving Christ. He says, I hope you got grace. I hope you have peace. And then he starts thanking God. I thank God for my remembrance. He said, when I was there, I had a good time. Amen. He said, you people were so blessed to me were so wonderful to me, and I remember it. He said, I, I, I have a remembrance. I thank God every time I remember being there and being with you, how you love the Lord, how you want to serve God, amen, amen. amen. what kind of grace you had. He said, I, I, I appreciate it. He says, always in every prayer of mine, for you all, you all, you all, okay, that's not a southern term, that is a Bible term right there. Amen. You all. Amen. You all, you know, they, they say we talk funny. No, that's the Bible. Amen. Amen. Making requests with joy. Mm. He says, I remember you praying. You know, some people can pray and they always talk like this. Oh, God, please help me. I'm blue and get it. Oh, God, please help me. We ain't got nobody. Oh, Amen. I thank you for my bean taco. Amen. I ain't got no meat. I ain't got no egg, but I at least got beans. Amen. And so I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for my beans. Amen. Request with joy. He said, Lord, I appreciate the beans. Amen. He, he can throw a steak once in a while. I appreciate it. But if you don't, that's okay too. Because I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I tell you, you're just good to me. Joy. Amen. I like a man that has joy when he prays. Amen. Amen. I, I like it when somebody prays and they're not all doomed and gloom. Oh God, bless the food. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, you know, you ought to have a little joy. Mm -hmm. little joy. Amen. You know, I, I mean, I'm depending on sales when I work, and, and so I'll be thanking God, you know, when I make good sales. Lord, thank you. I appreciate that. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. Hey, hey, you know, when you start thinking it's all you and not God, uh, you're going to get a big problem real quick. Amen. 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 Joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. He says, I remember the first time I met you. He said, we were, we were in it together. We had fellowship. We had sweet fellowship. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we try to go to lunch here on Sunday, sit down, have a good meal. Amen. So, oh, that's a good meal. It don't always have to be a good meal, but we can at least fellowship. Amen. Talk. Amen. Talk about the things of the week. Talk about how God's treating us. Amen. Talk about how man's treating us. Amen. And he says, I, he said, from the your fellowship, he said, I tell you, we was in it together. Right. Mm -hmm. We was in it together, and we still are in it together. Amen. And, uh, I tell you that there's we got brethren, all kinds of churches all over the country. Amen. Uh, talked to a uh, uh, man that he was having a tent meet. There was a big old storm was coming. He was asking everybody to pray that it wouldn't blow down the tent. I said, Well, praise God. Amen. Somebody's doing for something for the Lord. I, 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 to me, that sounds wonderful. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Amen. Amen. And, and so uh, I, I like that. And then Paul goes on and tells the church 
being confident of this very thing, that he, talking about God, which has begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. I don't know where we get this thought that God takes his magic wand and puts it over you, and the next thing you know, you are super Christian. <laughs> I mean, you know the Bible in and out. You know exactly the attitude you're supposed to have. You know exactly what to say to everybody to get them to come to church. You're a super prayer warrior. I mean, you're just, I mean, you're it, man. Amen. I mean, you are you are the model of every Christian. That's not the way God does. Amen. Amen. It takes years. Amen. Years. Amen. And then more years. Amen. Just when you think you finally got it, God will say, I can't even start yet. All right, I can't even start. I, 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 I tell you, what you got to remember is this. If God started, He ain't going to quit till He finishes it. Amen. He ain't going to quit. Now, I tell you what's going to happen to some people. They're going to wait till the last minute and God's just going to fall right on them. But they can't run away from it. Right. I know young men, they'll get called to preach when they're young, 12, 13, 14. And they'll get called. And God will speak to their heart about, you know, becoming a preacher. And, and, and I go, well, praise God, amen. If they can handle that kind of pressure, that's fine. But it took me years. Mm -hmm. I mean, before God, before God even started speaking to me, amen. Right. amen. Right. And even then, it took more years before He actually did something. And I, I just tell you, we're always in such a big rush to get spiritually anointed so that we know exactly what we're supposed to do 24 hours a day. And the answer is no. Right. It just begun. Amen. He's just begun in us. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm 56, I'm going to be 57 this year. Trust me, he has just begun Amen. in Amen. me. Alright? Yes, I've read the Bible many times. Yes, I've prayed many times. Yes, I've served God many years. But I'm telling you, it's only got started. Amen. It's only started. Hmm. He's begun a good work. He ain't through yet. Right. Amen. Amen. You don't know what God's going to do with your life. You have no idea. Hmm. I can tell you this. God is always going to do something with somebody that loves the Lord. Amen. Now, the only people I know of, Brother Jack Wood's daddy once time said it, he said, uh, God cannot use a lazy man. Mm -hmm. He said, what would he do with him? He said, he can't save him, and he ain't going to use him. Mm -hmm. What? He's lazy. He ain't going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to do nothing. Why would God save him? Mm -hmm. What would he do? A amen. amen. I'm telling you, God wants to use us. Amen. But don't get in such a big hurry like, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I remember going through that phase. Man, I thought, you know, I'm going to be in the nursing home ministry the rest of my life. Then I thought I was going to go to prisons. Then I thought I was going to do the, the, the tent. Then I thought I was going to do something that, you know, I was going to be in the bags. I was going to travel. I kept thinking all these things. God just said, why don't you just shut up and just wait. Amen. And I, I'll get you ready for something. Amen. And when he finally got me ready, uh, then he sat in the Conroe for 15 years. And I did my time. I'm out. Amen. I'm out on parole. Thank God. Amen. Uh, amen. I'd like to see my parole officer for a while. Thank God. A amen. 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 You'll get that a little bit. Amen. Verse number 7. Even as it's meant for me to think of you all, there it is again, you all, because I have you in my heart, and as much as both of my bonds and the defense and the confirmation of God, gospel, you are all partakers of my grace. Mm -hmm. He amen. said, uh, he said, I went in there and preached to you. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I taught you all about grace. Mm -hmm. He said, you heard about grace. He said, you partook of the grace. Amen. He said, we're in it together, man. Amen. We're in it together. Amen. This is something. Amen. 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 And for God is my record, how great I long after you with all my bowels of Jesus Christ. He says, I really, really appreciate y'all. Amen. I appreciate y'all a whole bunch. Amen. Mm -hmm. I appreciate y'all. And, and I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and all judgment. Paul says, I want your love to grow. I want it to grow in knowledge. I want you to get your, get your nose in your Bible. Why don't you study some of them commentaries, amen? In judgment, 
Well, sometimes you got to make a judgment. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Amen. What am I going to do here? Amen. Amen. And that you may approve things that are excellent. What does Paul want you to do? He wants you to grow up to the point in love, knowledge, amen, judgment, so that you can approve the things that are excellent. You can go, yes, this is good. This is good. This missionary, we ought to support him. All right, we ought to support him, and he's trying to do something for God. And then there's others, and we see other things, and we go, no, that ain't, that's full of hell right there, amen. That just full of the devil. No, we don't want nothing to do with that. that you may be sincere without offense till the day of Christ. He said, not only are you supposed to approve the things that are excellent, but you're also not to be offensive. All right? You know, I mean, you're not supposed to offend anybody. All right? And, and, and unfortunately, being a Christian, you tell somebody there's only one way to heaven, that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. You can't get in unless you have the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, people are not going to appreciate that. Right. Yeah. But if you're offensive and say, you know, you smell funny, your hair is funny, your clothes are funny, the way you look is funny, now you go, you you become offensive. <laughs> All right. You, you let the gospel, you let the gospel, Amen, uh, be presented in the right way. And you can use the sword two different ways. You can use a sword like a surgeon and cut, mm -hmm. let the word of God cut and take out that cancer. Get it out so they can live. Or you can take that sword and start butchering. Bang! Whack! 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 And now you kill them with the word of God. You have spiritually killed them. And they don't want them to do it. So you have to learn. You gotta learn how to do that. Again, that is a learning process. You gotta learn what to improve. You 